Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we are going to learn what is a menu driven program in Microsoft Visual Basic. So let's get started. Today we will learn how to create a menu. I will tell you what is a menu. Here you can see file, edit, view. This is called menu bar. So we will create this in our project. First go to the tools click on menu editor so in this we will create our menu first the caption is what type of menu we will create we will create a menu to perform functions such as addition subtraction multiplication and division we will create a menu then a sub menu of that and perform the function so first the caption so we can write caption you can write anything actually so menu we will write directly and the name we'll write same menu and then press next and you can see there are four arrows here so this is our first menu and we want to create sub items in this so you have to press the right button now whatever you enter will be in the sub menu of menu we will first use the add name will be add and again we will press next the same thing we will now write subtract so, so sub act name will write sub and again we will press next then the next will be multiplication so multiply and the name we will write multi and then for the third one we will write division so division and in the name we will write di3 so now press the ok button so you can see here is our program here is our menu the menu is directly created now we have to write the code here so click on the add twice and now we can write our coding so we will just what we will do we will directly first declare our variable because for addition we will require two value and third value to save that so dim a comma b comma c as integer now in a we will take input from the user so we will write a input box enter value a. and because the text box take value as a string we have to convert it in integer so to convert this input box value into integer you have to write well and write it in the bracket and close bracket do the same thing for the b well and input box enter value b we have declared the c so we declared c to save the result of a plus b and we will show the output in the message box sum of number a and this is just a message you can write whatever i am just writing so that you can understand a and b is and we have to concat our result so to concat we will use the ampersand symbol and the c now we will test on the program menu we will click on add so you can see enter value of a we will write 10 10 ok value of 20 and now the sum of the number is 30 we will do the same thing division multiplication and subtraction so go to the form design click on subtract just do the same thing control c we will paste it copy this control c paste it here and do the same thing just minus this and we will do the same thing for the division 2 copy this paste it here and right so here if we use the backslash the output will be in decimal and if you use the forward slash the output will be an integer so we will use the forward slash and sum of the number we will write div of the number division and in the subtraction we will write sub subtraction of the number and now it's turn for multiply so copy and paste the same thing v and change it the stuff change this with the multiply and you will multiply of the number is in c 
So now we will run the program. Running. Menu. Add. First we will set 10. For B we will write 20. You can see the output is 30. Now we will see the subtract. First is we will insert 50. Second we will insert 40. Subtract of the number is 10. Now third multiply. We will write 5. 4. 40 we will write. And then press OK. So 200. And for the division, we will write 50 divided by n and the number is 5. This is how you can create a menu. This is just a single. You can create different menus here. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please press the like button. If you have any question, query or any error in your program, comment down below. I will happy to help. Subscribe for more. Bye.